What's up guys? A couple of you have asked me what do I tend to eat on a day-to-day basis in order to stay lean and have abs and stay toned. Now the reality is that what's often as important as what I eat is what I don't eat. Now in this video I want to share five common things I see other people eating that I do not eat on a daily basis and why I don't eat them. Hey guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book Master of the Day. And now, the five things I tend not to eat that I see other people eating quite a lot. The very first thing is actually fruit. You know, I tend to focus more on vegetables. The theory being that as indigenous people, you look all around the world, unless you're in the tropics, basically we eat what is most seasonal. Now, being in a temperate climate, I'm in the Pacific Northwest now, fruits are really only in season three to let's say six months of the year, right? You have berries in the spring, You've got apples later, you've got peaches, nectarines, things like that. The thing is, I try to focus on foods in general that don't have a lot of sugar. And so for me, the easiest way to do that is to focus on vegetables. I had a guy once email me and he said he was a vegan. And he said he needed my weight loss advice, but he didn't want to change being vegan. And he said he was 350 pounds. And I emailed him and I said, I'm curious what you eat because it's a little bit unusual to see a vegan 350 pounds. And he told me that he would eat eight mangoes for breakfast alone. So you can overeat fruit, absolutely, even if it's natural, even if they're fruits and it's not like white refined sugar. So I tend to focus on vegetables personally to go with each meal. The second thing I generally do not eat is snack foods. So I'll show you my pantry here. There's almost nothing to snack on and that's on purpose. Now my favorite snacks tend to be salty. That's just what I crave the most. But in general, I notice that if I have snacks stored at my place, then I'm going to eat snacks. It's really that simple. And what I want to focus on is eating more meals because number one, it trains me to focus on those meal times and slow down, be present when I eat, not rush. And also for me with a history of digestive problems, I notice that if I can give my body that rest in between meals and not always be eating food, it seems that I have the best and the strongest digestion. So that's just a personal thing for me. I'm not carrying around a little snack baggie per day. I try to just emphasize, you know, the three core meals and then maybe one or two snacks. The third thing I don't eat is sandwiches. Sandwiches, you know, I used to have them a lot as a kid and I see people making them because they're fast and because they're easy. But for me, especially focusing on health and physical fitness goals, you know, basically aesthetic goals, the big thing for me is that I cook all my food in bulk. And so it's very hard if you're cooking your food in bulk to make sandwiches because it's kind of nasty to make a sandwich ahead of time. It'll get soft and soggy. What I do is I cook all my food in massive bulk on Sunday and on Thursday. And so I'm cooking like a couple pounds of protein, a huge thing of vegetables, and then two or three cups of brown rice. And that way I can easily portion out, you know, six or seven meals right there. And it's very hard to do with something like a sandwich. So for me, if I have three huge macronutrients in bulk, All I do is I can divvy them up in each of my Tupperwares and then boom, I've got my meals ready, even if I wanted to freeze them. The fourth thing is almost no drinks with liquid calories. So I notice that a lot of people tend to snack by drinking things too. It could be something like coffee or a latte, which has milk, it may have sugar. It could be something like fruit juice. It could be even, you know, a vegan or a vegetarian option, like a vegetable drink or a fruit drink. What I notice is easiest for me And for a lot of my clients, they can lose a lot of weight by only focusing on coffee, tea, or water. Now, obviously, if you're having five cups of orange juice a day, you're still getting sugar, even though a lot of it's fructose. You're still getting sugar. I would rather you eat the fruits than drink the fruits. So for me, the way that I just simply focus on being conscious about what's going in my body is I only drink coffee, tea, and water. Every once in a while, I'll have a fruit juice like after a workout. Because the thing is, the calories can really sneak up on you. If you look at, for example, some of my typical clients, they may have a latte in the morning, a Coke in the afternoon, and maybe a fruit juice like with breakfast. So you take the latte, what is that, 200 calories just from the milk and the sugar? You take the Coke, what is that, 150 calories? Take the orange juice, another 100 calories. Right there you have almost 500 extra calories a day. And because liquids do not have fiber or bran, they don't register that satiety in your body as easily. So they don't register you being as full as a solid meal. And it's very easy to have like lunch, you're pretty full, and then drink something with it over the next hour as you work. 
So it really does sneak up on you. And look, what do most of us like to snack on drink-wise? Sugar, of course. Now that brings me to the last thing I generally do not eat, and that is sugar. Now, I eat sugar, I just don't usually store it at my place. I mean, I got a couple of those chocolate Santas for Christmas time, and guess what was gone two days later? Both of those huge chocolate Santas. That's why I usually don't buy sugar. Now, my vices usually are salty, like tortilla chips, or or those little mini apple pies. Generally, my rule, though, to avoid sugar is super simple. I'll eat it if I'm out of my house. I just won't buy it for my house or my apartment. Because the fact is, I don't have very good self-control, just like every normal person does, and the easiest system and habit is just not to buy it, because that triggers the availability trigger, as I call it. If it's there, you will eat it. So I hope that helps. That's a little bit about, rather than focusing on what I do eat, what I don't eat. Now, the best way to stay in touch, come check out this new movement, gosagemode.com, in the description there below. So if that's your thing, check out gosagemode.com. That's also the best way to get direct access to me, or in the description there below.